have Dwight. We have Kylie here today who's going to help you with some painting and I'm Kylie's mom, Miss Stephanie. We are going to be doing some cake painting today. So before you get started, you're going to want to get your supplies. You want to get your big piece of paper from your supply kit and your paint that you got. Ooh, I almost spilled that paint. Oh, it wasn't on. And you're going to want some tape. And for this, you can get any tape that you have at home. Probably the best is going to be either painting tape or masking tape. Because you're going to be taping it on your paper and then pulling it off. And so you want something that's going to come off your paper and not rip the paper. And you'll want to get a paintbrush. So get one of your paintbrushes or several from your supplies and some water. And you'll probably want to have some paper towels or some wet wipes because you might get a little bit messy with this one. Kylie doesn't think she's going to get messy. She's pretty neat. We'll see. So let's get started. We're going to start with our tape. And you're just going to make tape designs all over your paper wherever you want. And this is going to be exactly what you want it to be. So it will look totally different than Kylie's and that is okay. So what we're going to do is just rip off pieces. Do you want to help me pull? So you want to, oops, pull again. Pull a little bit of tape and then we'll rip it off. And then you can take your tape and just rip it in lots of pretty little designs. So you can have little pieces. I'm going to put that one on somewhere. It's right there. Is that good? Or you can have big pieces. Big long pieces. Can you help me rip that? Let's see if we can rip it all the way down to the end. Perfect. And where should we do that? You can get a really cool edge when you rip your tape, so it's going to make some fun designs. Where would you like to put that one? Over here? Can you help me stick it down? And so you are just going to tape up your whole paper with as much tape and design as you want. So we're going to take a little while to work on that and then we'll come back to you. Alright, so we are all taped up now and we are ready to start painting. So when you've got yours taped up, you're going to pick your paint colors and Kylie picked pink and blue and purple and yellow. And what we did, if you want to get a paper plate, you could go ahead and dump out a little paint onto the paper plate. Or if you want, you can just take it straight from the jar. Whatever you want to do, it's fine. And you are going to take your paint and just fill up the whole rest of the paper with paint. So here's what we're going to do next. If you want to mix your colors, you can mix them together. If you want to just do one solid, you can do that. I'm going to just put this here and you do whatever you want with the paint, Kylie. Are you wanting to mix them a little bit? Yeah, what color do you want to do with the paint? Some blue. That's pretty. Make a little purple. Good job. Good. And you're just going to get paint all over your whole page. And if you paint on the tape, that is just fine because you're going to take the tape off at the end. So you can just do big, wide brush strokes all the way across the page. It doesn't matter what you paint on. Yeah, perfect. And then you can get lots and lots of paint on this one. And you want to change colors now so you could dip it in the water. Clean off your brush, switch colors. We mix color a little bit for this one, that's okay. It'll just look prettier that way. So we'll just keep on painting our painting and you keep painting yours and we'll get back to you when we're finished. So we are just about finished with our painting. And what we're going to do is take it out and let it dry. If you want to put it out in the sunshine, it'll dry a lot faster. 
And after it's dry, we'll come back again and show you what happens next. All right. So this is the last step of our project. It's all dry, and if your paint is all dry too, then you're ready to take the tape off. So what you're gonna do is find all your strips of tape, and you're gonna grab them at the top, and you want me to grab that one, Kylie? And then you're just gonna peel it right back, and look, you've got white strips everywhere that you put the tape. And so you wanna do that with every piece of tape on your paper and we're going to take the time to do that and you take the time to do that and we'll come right back so we are all finished the tape is off and this is our finished product and yours again is going to be so different we can't wait to see what yours looks like what colors you picked and where you put your tape um they're going to be beautiful thanks so much for doing this with us it was fun can you say bye <laughs>